Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this barcode generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see this is how this website looks and uh, here we can add a text or a number and click on this generate barcode button and the barcode will be generated over here. And if I click on this generate button without entering any text, then we will get this alert. So let's add some text over here. I'll just type Live Blogger and let's click on this generate button. And here we can see we have the barcode displayed for live blogger. So we will create this uh, barcode generator in this video. Let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called barcode generator and I just opened it with VS Code. Let's create the necessary files. So let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css. And let's create one more file for the JavaScript. Let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. And VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here let's link our CSS file and let's link our JavaScript file over here inside the body. Now for creating this barcode generator, we're gonna use a library called JS barcode. So let's search for that. So you can just Google for JS barcode CDN and you'll find this link of cdnjs.com. So let's open this. And let's copy this link from here. So we have the CDN link over here, JS barcode all min JS. So let's copy this script tag from here. And let's paste it over here just before this script tag. Right now if you go to the official website of this library, so here we can see the link. And this is the official website of JS Barcode and uh, here we can see how to use this library and uh, here we have this example. So what we need to do is we need to create an SVG and we need to give it an ID or a class and uh, we need to use this JS Barcode function and then we need to pass the class or the ID that we have for this SVG and then we need to enter the value. So in place of this value we will add our input field. So this is the basic structure and then we have another examples over here. So here we can change the format of the barcode. So this is another format called pharma code. And then we can change the color of the lines. We can change the width, height and all these things over here. Now there are a lot of options that we have for this library. So if we go over here to docs and if you scroll down here, we can see that we have the barcode. So these are the different options that we can add for the format. So for example, if I open this pharma code, we can see that this barcode is used in pharmaceutical industry. And uh, we have another barcode over here. So this one is for MSI. So you can set the barcode format to MSI for this to work. So you can go ahead and check all these out. And these are the options. So with height format, display the value. So here we can see we have the value displayed. So you can go ahead and check all these out and make changes to your barcode. Right now let's go back to our uh, code and uh, let's start writing the markup of our design. First of all, let's create a container division and let's give it a class of barcode container. And in that we need to have a heading. So I'll just create an H2 and let's type barcode generator. And after this, uh, let's create an input field. So we will have the type set to text and uh, let's add a placeholder and uh, let's set the placeholder to enter text or number. And let's also give it a class so that we can access it in JavaScript. So let's give it a class of barcode input. And then we need to have the button. So for the button, let's give it a text of generate barcode. And let's also give it a class so that we can access it in JavaScript. So let's give it a class of generate BTN. And then lastly, we need to have the SVG for displaying the actual barcode. So let's create an SVG. And let's give it a class of barcode. So that's basically it with the HTML of our design. So let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So if you go to extensions here, we can see that I have already installed this extension called live server. So if you have the extension installed, you can just right click in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see we have the content displayed in the browser. Now let's go ahead and style this. So let's go to the styler CSS file. First of all, let's select everything and uh, let's set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. And let's add some styles to the body. 
first of all let's add a background color of f4 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 and let's set the height to 100 viewport height and let's remove the default margins and uh, let's bring all this content to the center so i just type display of grid place items to the center and uh, now we can see that everything is in the center now let's go ahead and add some styles to the barcode container so let's type barcode container and let's set the font family to roboto sans serif and uh, let's set the background color to white let's add a padding of 32 pixels and let's set the border radius which is rounded corners to 10 pixels let's add a box shadow and let's set the values to 0 0 10 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 and uh, let's set the width to 90 percent of the screen and we'll also add the max width so let's type max width and let's set the max width to 900 pixels and let's set a fixed height and let's set the height to 424 pixels now let's go ahead and set the display to flex and flex direction to column and uh, let's add a gap of 8 pixels and let's also align items to the center right now let's go ahead and style this h2 so let's type barcode container h2 and let's set the font size to 32 pixels and uh, let's set the margin bottom to 8 pixels right now let's style this input field so we have the input field with the class of barcode input so let's type barcode input and let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right let's set a margin of 10 pixels and a width of 100 percent and let's set the font size to 16 pixels right now let's style this button so for the button we have this class of generate btn so here I'll just type generate btn and let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right font size of 16 pixels cursor to pointer let's set the background color to red let's set the color of the text to white and we'll just remove the border and let's add a border radius of 10 pixels now let's also add a hover effect so let's type generate btn colon hover and let's set the background color to de0606 so now we can see we have the hover effect now for the actual barcode which is the svg that we have over here with the class of barcode let's add some styles so let's type barcode and let's set a margin top of 20 pixels and let's add the max width to 100 percent and let's set the display to block so with that we have completed our styling now let's add the functionality so for that let's go to the main.js file now first of all let's reference the generate btn button so let's tap const generate btn equals document dot query selector generate btn or now let's add an event listener to this generate btn so let's tap generate btn dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event now when we click on this generate btn button we need to generate the barcode so i'll just create a function for that let's call the function generate barcode and let's create the function over here const generate barcode now in this function we need to first of all get the value of the input field so let's tap const input equals document dot query selector and we have a class of barcode input for that and let's get the value of it so let's tap value and first of all let's go ahead and see whether we have any value in that so let's tap if input dot trim is not equal to blank so if there is any value in that then we need to generate the barcode or else let's go ahead and add an alert so here I'll just tap alert please enter a valid text or number to generate a barcode now this trim will basically remove all the extra spaces that we have at the beginning and the end so now let's go ahead and 
type js barcode and let's reference the element which has a class of barcode so let's type dot barcode and for the second argument we need to provide the input which is uh, this input constant over here and then we need to pass some options so let's create an object and let's set the height to 100 and let's type display value and uh, let's set it to true and uh, let's see whether the barcode is being generated so let's go back to our website and uh, let's add some text over here let's click on generate barcode and here we can see we have the barcode being generated and everything is working all right so that's basically how you can create this barcode generator using html css and javascript let's create a really large text and let's click on generate barcode and now we can see that we have the barcode generated for that as well within this width all right so that's basically how you can create this barcode generator using html css and javascript so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day